Hey everyone, Reclaimer here with 2XP Gaming. We're going to be doing uh, a review here of the Carrier Assault game mode for Battlefield 4's recent DLC, Naval Strike. So this is going to be Carrier Assault in 5 minutes. So Battlefield 4's Carrier Assault mode is reminiscent of Battlefield's two, uh, Battlefield 2142's Titan mode. Basically, it's a game of conquest where you have to capture bases in order for your missile batteries to uh, send missiles to the enemy carrier and breaking its hull open to allow you to go in and destroy it. So for the most part, you're going to be having a lot of uh, battles on the ground or in boats to capture these conquest points so that the enemy's carrier hull can be breached open. For the most part, the carrier assault mode, since it is a naval strike map, is going to be done with boats, hovercrafts, ribs, etc. You're going to be doing a lot of boat play in this game. It's going to be really good to become a medic or um, uh, an engineer so that you can revive your dead teammates and also go ahead and take out the boats that are going to be mowing you down, um, as you can see here, <laughs> as I just got mowed down. So uh, don't count on too much crazy infantry gameplay in the beginning stages of it. A lot of it you need to run around, capture base, but you're going to have a lot of boats and engineers going after you. The, the majority of this mode where it gets really fun is when the carrier hull is breached. You are then able to go in and arm two MCOM stations to destroy the carrier. You can choose to go in with your team and arm these MCOMs. You can stay back and defend your carrier if it's open. Uh, it's really up to you. So when it comes to assaulting the carrier, you have to wait for the enemy carrier to be opened up. It does take about a minute or two. And then you need to be careful of any infantry that may be in here. This is where you get really good close quarter scrums where you're going to want to have your laser sight or your tactical light, a lot of good close quarter weapons. Your team or yourself will arm the enemy MCOMs and then you're going to go ahead and move forward to the engine room assuming you're successful in blowing that first MCOM up. Uh, this section of the game is extremely close quarters and I think very, very fun. It's going to make for some awesome, intense moments and great gameplay. Uh, I usually suggest using a PDW, a shotgun, some really good pistols and attachments because it's a little dark in here. You're going to have a lot of corners that you need to clear. Uh, but ultimately, if you can get into this engine room part of it, you can go ahead and help your team assault this final point of the carrier and go ahead and win the game for your team. So I think you get a lot of real uh, good, good moments when you're assaulting the enemy carrier instead of hanging back. It really depends on your mode of gameplay and what you really like to do. Uh, once you finish off this last MCOM, the game pretty much is over, which is a bit different from Titan mode because you had to evacuate before the carrier blew up or before the Titan blew up. Now, like I said, you can also choose to stay back and defend your carrier if your carrier is open. This is going to make for some camping moments and, you know, depending on how you like to play, uh, you know, you can camp here and wait for some of the, um, the enemy to come in and go ahead and mow them down, try and prevent them from arming those MCOMs, you can certainly go ahead and stay out uh, and continue to capture the conquest points to have rockets continue to hit the enemy carrier and further damage its hull. However, if you're going to be defending, it's best to pick a spot, take some good attachments, and go ahead and, and, and keep, the, keep your carrier clear of the enemy infantry. So you definitely would like to have, you know, flashlights, shotguns, whatever you think works best for, again, close quarters, tight corners, all those fun things that you like to play in a battlefield match. Now, I will say that Carrier Assault certainly differs from the Titan mode that was in Battlefield 2142. Um, I think that this mode of gameplay is just basically a mixed mode. It, it's merging Conquest and Rush together with a common objective of this carrier. Whereas Titan Assault, while it was still that mode of Conquest and Rush, uh, it really added just a, an interesting dynamic to the gameplay. Like I said earlier, you had to rush off of the exploding enemy Titan before it, you know, it, it blew up, and I think that added for some intense epilogue moments, something that you would see in Titanfall. You lost the game, or you won the game anyway, but you still have that chance to die. And I think that that really should have been brought over to the Carrier Assault mode. But regardless, I think Carrier Assault is a very fun and, and very interesting addition to the Battlefield world. Certainly one of the better things that came out of the um, Naval Strike DLC. And you can definitely check out the 2XP Gaming video on the Naval Strike DLC, which we had uploaded to our channel a couple weeks ago. So that's about it. This is Battlefield feel for carrier assault mode in five minutes from 2xp gaming if you like what you saw please feel free to like share subscribe please comment or add suggestions to this video so we know what type of content you want to see in the future for now this is reclaimer with 2xp gaming signing off enjoy the ride to the carrier